So sensor node 1 is currently placed at a 30 liter cooler box with container ID set of 4 and vaccine name Pfizer. Sensor node 2 is placed in a 8 liter cooler box with container ID set of 7 and vaccine name set of Moderna. So the reading from both sensor nodes are within the set temperature range of 2 degrees minimum and 25 degrees maximum. So the reading from container ID7 is 16.28 degrees Celsius. The reading from container ID4 is 15.92 degrees Celsius. So this data or message is sent to AWS IoT. And then we set a rule to send the message to AWS DynamoDB. So to simulate one of the cooler box temperature going out of the set temperature range, I'm going to leave container 7 open. So container 7 has already passed the set maximum temperature range of 25 degrees and the LED bars are blinking red. Using this guy's store device data in a DynamoDB table, we create a rule with rule query statement. So this one, to route the receive message to DynamoDB table. So the message is routed to DynamoDB table temperature table 4. We're going to filter container ID 7 to view the recorded test results. So the temperature of container 7 goes from within the set temperature range to out of temperature range, so above 25 degrees Celsius. So here is 21, 22 Celsius. 23 Celsius, 24, 
25 degrees Celsius. So from Dynamo DB table, you can build a serverless web application using this application architecture in which you can create a web page to view the database. 